Hey, it's Arm Bowl with the lover. Here to do the end of July update for X and Y. And there you're at the bottom screen picking your Pokemon, and then it shows which Pokemon at the top. And this is a Japanese trailer if you couldn't tell by the language. But, uh, so yeah, this video was released in Japan, and there was Fan King using a new move called, like, Thumb Punch or something, I forgot already. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's Growl, but that's a new Pokemon I'll talk about. It's like Boom Rush Patrol or something. There's Fire Blast, you can tell by the Pokemon the mini. Moonblast, another Mewtwo, and Geomonsty. Get the monster, it's get the monster. But, um, darn. But here are a few slowed down clips. In the background, it looks like a mom with her baby, and there's spiking. Mom with a baby and her, like, a back thing, see? And then there's, like, a zombie at the beginning of this next one, but then you're on your bike, which is cool. And here is a scene right after Santalun City. You can see Lumios in the background, and there's a... I'll tell you why, but there's the roller blagers, and then there's horsies and... Uh, clam pearl, and this is the fountain. You can't really see it in this resolution, but you can in better resolution. You can see the horses and the clam pearl. But there's the three things. There's the round area, and Lumio Siggy's to the left, and Santalun's to the down. Now this picture here is train tracks, which wants me to talk about the whole train idea again. See, here's where I think the train would go, from here to there, from. Eastern Kalos to Coastal Kalos. Now, this is very similar to Gold Silver and Heart Gold Soul Silver's Metro Train or whatever, where it goes from Goldenrod to Celadon. No, Saffron. See, that's how it looks there, but see, the reason this is is because of the HM Fly. See, you can fly from Kanto to the Pokemon League, you can fly from Johto to the Pokemon League, and vice versa. You can fly in amongst the, your own region, like in Johto you can fly around Johto, and in Kanto you can fly around Kanto. But in Kanto you can't fly directly to Johto, and in Johto you can't fly directly to Kanto, see? And so, a way you can cheat this is just take the train and then you can fly around whenever you want. See, and I think this is going to be the same since there's the regions in Kalos. I think you can fly around each region of the Kalos, like section of Kalos, as much as you want. You can fly from eastern to central, central to Kalos, but you can't fly from eastern to coastal. See, and it's just like that. And the way you can cheat it is to take this train. See, it's smart. And that's how Lumi and that's another way that Lumio C can be used as a hub, like the Pokemon League was. And now here's fishing. It was showing a Pokemon Smash where these girls are like guys and girls are like pushing out of the way so they could play Pokemon X and Y. I really liked watching it, except I didn't understand a word they were saying. They also showed off surfing to a nice little island with Inke on it. And Surfing, it looks kind of weird now since they actually have models. <laughs> but, um, so that new Pokemon is a picture right here. It's Uru 2 or something. I'll make a video about it when it comes out in America, but it's only in Japan right now. But since this is an update, kind of just with everything, I put it in. It looks like grass type. Grass dark, probably. Now I'll talk about every Pokemon's description on the website. The grass-type Pokemon Chespin has a tough shell covering his head and back. Despite having a curious nature that tends to gigging in trouble, Chespin keeps an optimistic outlook and doesn't worry about small details. Yeah, I did this for the new Pokemon, the new six, except for Urato because it doesn't have one. So I'm just going to do it for the ones I haven't done. Searing heat blows from the ears of the fire-type Pokemon Fennekin. This Pokemon loves to snack on twigs. Fennekin can be temperamental, but it tries to do its best for his trainer. I guess it's getting twiggy with it, huh? I think that's an episode of Pokemon. Oh man, I made these pictures too long. The wire type Pokemon Froakie is slight strong and making it capable to jump incredibly high. The bubbles on its chest and back protect it from attacks. Froakie may appear absent-minded, but intrusive pays close attention to her surrounding at all times. It does appear 
So this is the Spiny Chestnut, the Fox, and the Bubble Frog Pokemon. And now it's time for the Playful Pokemon. With his trademark leaf always sticking out of his mouth, Pancham tries to intimidate his opponents by glaring at them intensely, although this is rarely successful. I think I've actually read these ones. Maybe I didn't. But it's a playful Pokemon. Uh, Pangoro is not on here because of uh, the thing. Lit Leo, the hot blood Lit Leo is always ready for a good fight. Fight? Fight. The main blazes with heat during battle, bringing hogger and hogger the stronger as opponent. So, and here's a, that was the Lion Cub Pokemon. Here's the single bloom Pokemon. Another newly discovered fairy type Pokemon. Flabebe cleans the flower early on and cares for it an entire life. Because of this, Flabebe may be found holding flowers of different colors, which will cause it. It doesn't say this, but it will cause it to no different move, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I guess it's similar to Deerling, but without the move thing. Noivern is extremely com combative towards anything that wanders too close to it. It flies through even the darkest nights using ultrasonic waves that emit from its ears. This Pokemon loves fruit, and feeding it fruit will keep it calm. Pokemon and me will love this, I bet. Soundwave Pokemon. With a friendly nature and a beautiful chirp, Fletchling is a popular Pokemon among many trainers. Fletchling also knows to Fletchling is also known to be ferocious in battle, capable of unleashing breathless attacks. It's a tiny robin Pokemon here. I like it. It's so cute. I don't know what my problem is. The evolved form of the recently announced Fletchling. I forgot to put talent, but never mind. Dang it. I put it out of order. Quantra is easily recognizable by the oversized claw on one of its arms. The usual claw can seize prey and shoot water out of a projectile. It can also crack boulders. It's the water gun Pokemon. Exclusive to X. Disguised by a shape, Scrope pretends to be a piece of seaweed. When prey gets too close, Scrope bases. In it, it in scrope bathes in it. Scrope bases it in poison to keep it from struggling. Ew! It's mock kelp Pokemon. An evolved form of the recently announced Fletchling Talonflame Flame is a fire and flying type Pokemon that gains a whole new level of speed and firepower. It dives at its foe and then attacks with devastating kicks. It is the Scorching Pokemon. Sorry if you can hear the mouse clicking, but sorry. Heliopetile charges itself by bathing in the light of the sun, proving it with enough energy that it doesn't need to eat. It's one of three Pokemon to have appeared in the anime so far. This is Alexis Pokemon. It's a generator Pokemon. New para parabolic charge. Alexa also has this other Pokemon. Go-Go. It's so large that people are able to ride on its back. It's very calm and can form a strong bond with its trainers when it grabs onto its horns. And it's a mount Pokemon, and like I said before, I definitely mount that Pokemon. Alexa has one of these, too, in the anime. Pokemon Best Wishes, Season 2, Episode 9. Uh, Sylveon is a newly discovered e evolution of Eevee. Experienced Pokemon trainers will know that Eevee can evolve into seven different types, and now this is a new Eevee evolution. Different type has been revealed. Sylveon is one of the first Pokemon clearly identified as a fairy type Pokemon. This means that Eevee can now evolve into eight possible Pokemon, each with a different type. <sighs> that was hard. <coughs> <laughs> it is an intertwining Pokemon, and it's fairy type. Bug type Pokemon Scatterbug resides mostly in forests and wild plains. After Scatterbug has reached a high enough level, it will evolve into Spupa. Sylveon appeared in the thing after Genesect Mewtwo's Awakening. The Pikachu and Eevee friends is a Scatterdust Pokemon. This is also a Scatterdust Pokemon. Spupa is a male Pokemon of this evolutionary change. With enough experience gained in battle, Spupa will eventually evolve into the villain. This is a Scatterdust Pokemon. It can go protect, which is actually cool looking. Last, we have the Scale Pokemon, Vavilling. It's on evolution and addition to becoming stronger. Vavilling also changes its type. You can continue to level up this Pokemon to make it even stronger. Oh, it's so cute. I really haven't looked at it yet. Yep, so uh, I did include Inke, Malamars, uh, Hone Edge, Pangaro, or... Uh, the uh, Spritzy and Swirlix, but here's my final page. See, you can see uh, the Pokemon exclusive to X and Pokemon exclusive to Y. I've clearly marked every single fairy type. 
Um, I put nice color background on the three starters, and then I've included every other Pokemon. So if you count all of these, there's 26. Well, 25 in America. 26 in Japan. But I include Uru Tool or whatever its name is. So there's 26 new Pokemon at this point. And 700, 649 plus 26 equals 675 new Pokemon, and 700 minus 675 equals 25 Pokemon until 700. We're getting close, and who knows, maybe it's that big news coming at the end of next month, like it says, biggest news of the century, and, oh, well, it's only been around for a few months. If it's the most news ever announced, it's going to be the biggest news, biggest X and Y news of the year, of the century, of the month, of the day. Why is this century? I mean... Okay, maybe it's going to be, like, the biggest news ever. Maybe we're going to get, like, 25 new Pokemon and announce, like, every single thing. And... God, it's going to be huge. These videos are already long as they are. Now I'm going to have to make one that's, like, two parts, probably, because it's going to be so long. I'm so stressed now. I, I'll just leave you and uh, expect more videos soon, especially check back on August 12th when they announce all this new stuff that's supposed to be coming out. And I uh, hope you enjoyed my ranting, and hope you liked the idea. If you really like this, subscribe, because I'm going to be having so many more of these videos. I mean, it's, I've been making these videos for like five months, and I already have ten of them, but subscribe to me. I mean, most of my videos right now are going to be stuff like this, and other games like Smash Brothers and... Ooh, I need to make a video for that. But, so, keep an eye out on my channel, and I'll see you all next time.